What is going on guys? Alex Hubank here coming back at you with another YouTube video again uploading Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today, got a really exciting video doing full day of eating on my cut. I've been getting lean. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram, TikTok, and all that, we're getting pretty lean pretty quick. Um, I think I'm down around three, three and a half pounds, something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to lose a pound a week right now. And I kind of want to show you guys my cutting diet. I'm trying to make it in a way that is sustainable, meaning I'm not I'm not like killing myself going into the deficit. Like I'm actually able to enjoy eating still. Um, and I'm still like pretty, pretty satiated and full and I'm not like going into extreme deficits. So we're eating around 2,500 calories. That's the goal today. And I'm going to take you guys through the little cheat meals that I do or that I change up a little bit to be lower calorie, but still very fulfilling. Like I would regularly eat when I'm just regularly maintaining or bulking. So starting off with the first meal today, I already did my cardio. Usually what I do is I wake up first thing in the morning, I'll take a fat burner. Um, and then I'll make some amino, like amino, amino energy drink, um, that I'll drink during my, um, my cardio and I'll do a on the stair or the, uh, blah, blah, incline treadmill. Uh, I'm doing around, I did 3.2 miles per hour at a 10 degree incline for 30 minutes. And I finished that. It's pretty easy. Wasn't that bad. So I haven't eaten, eat, 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 eaten yet. It's 1141 AM. So I'm going to eat my first meal. So what we're going to be eating first is these English muffins. So these are hundred calories per English muffin. So I'm having two of these, these light multigrain English muffins with eight grams of fiber. So two of these. Then I have uh, around 300 uh, grams of egg whites. So that's gonna be my protein source. So it's just simple, regular, ordinary egg whites. And then on the English muffins, I'm having some sugar-free jelly. Uh, the only, I don't like sugar-free stuff because it's definitely not as healthy, like the stuff in it's not good for you, but I only do this on a cut. So that's why I'm doing it now just to save calories. So sugar-free strawberry preserves, 10 calories per serving. So I have around, I don't know, three servings of that on the English muffin, so it's around 30 calories. And then I also have three slices of turkey bacon here, just because I wanted more protein in the meal, more flavor. So that's gonna be our first meal. So I'll pop up the macros. I have no idea how many calories it is. I'm gonna about to put it in my in my My Fitness Pal app just to show you guys. But it's two English muffins with sugar-free jelly, and then three slices of turkey bacon. All right, so I went ahead and I plugged it into my Fitness Pal app. So it says it's around 500. You can't see it. 525 calories. Go down here to the macros, 58 grams of protein, 58 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. So this is a really well-balanced meal for uh, carbs and protein. And uh, then I'll probably not eat anything. I'll probably eat this. Then I'll get ready for the day, go to the gym, and I'll probably have the Rice Krispies and stuff. And I'll also have some intro workout I'm gonna take uh, at the gym that have some carbs in it. So this is probably my like pre-workout if you wanna call it, cause I'm gonna have to train early today. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat this uh, and go to the gym. Hi Kita, why do you? Why do you look like that? Are you good? All right, so we finished that meal. Um, these are the vitamins that I'm taking after my first meal right now. It's all in this little this little cap, right? So uh, three of them is a multivitamin, two of them is a probiotic, one is turmeric, two are fish oil, um, one is uh, extra D3, and then I'm think, what else am I missing? There's something I'm missing. Yeah, people say all my story, <clears throat> they're like, there's no way you take this all at once, bro, watch me, watch. Simple. All right, so that's it for the vitamins. So now I'm gonna go shower and get ready to, to go leave and go towards the gym. All right, so we were at the gym. I had my pre, which was just two Rice Krispie treats, 180 calories, uh, mainly from carbs. So I'll pop that up. I guess you guys are gonna see how many grams it is. Uh, the birthday cake flavor, probably the best flavor Rice Krispie that, that there is. Um, anyways, I think we're gonna go hit arms, arms, calves, and abs today. And then I'll probably do a little bit extra Stairmaster. Uh, I think I was supposed to do legs, but my legs are still low-key kind of torched and uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna do them tomorrow I don't want to do another leg day. I feel like you guys haven't seen it, like me doing arms in a minute So I, I want to just switch it up for the channel. So we'll do some arms uh, Calves and abs and then tomorrow I'll hit my legs. So um, yeah, it's gonna go go drink some pre drink some more water and uh, Probably start with the Stairmaster first to warm up and then we'll go into the workout um, Then I'll show you guys what I eat post-workout and then the meals for the rest of the day so, yeah. And I'll run into the sea Follow this heart that escapes from me It escapes from me
I think five. I'm gonna say five. And I swear I can get an eight pack, bro. There's two more. Tell me I'm lying. There's two more. All right, so we're at Outback. Finished the workout. It was all right. It was pretty decent. Did some abs and calves at the end. So we're at Outback. So whenever I'm cutting, I allow myself to eat out once a day. Um, usually, like once a day, like maximum. Sometimes I don't. Uh, but I feel like it's really important to have like a balance when you're dieting, you know what I mean? So I'll, obviously I'm not getting anything unhealthy. I'm eating an eight ounce filet mignon, which is like the leanest cut of steak they have. It's like 330 calories with uh, plain sweet potato and then asparagus. So it's a very lean meal. It's the same thing I'd probably cook at home. I'm just treating myself, I give myself a steak instead of like chicken breast, for example, but it's still pretty lean. Um, but that, that's like the best way to sustain um, a diet is when you're, when you're doing it like that. If I go to Cava, I'll get Greek salads instead now with chicken instead of getting in like rice and like all the other carbs and, and the dressings added to it. I'll just keep it lean. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the second meal. And then the uh, next three meals of the day, three more meals left, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll teach you guys how I cook them. They're a lot more uh, low calorie, high protein meals. Um, and they're pretty easy to make. So I'll show you guys that after we get this food. All right, we'll get a little taste test. This exquisite cut of cow. Mm. We'll give it like a hot as burnt the shit out of my tongue. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um, let me try your shit real quick. Just a bite. Shit. That's Max. This is as big as my left nut. This is ridiculous, because I'm natty. All right, so it is currently 7.20 p.m. This is my third meal of the day. Um, and this is one of my favorite meals. It's a low calorie, kind of like a soft top. It's not a burrito, because the wrap's not big enough. Um, I don't know if they make, I'm pretty sure they do make bigger wrap versions of, of uh, these car balance wraps, because uh, I definitely need the bigger ones, because these are kind of small. Um, so I'm gonna call them like soft shell chicken tacos right low calories so i'm pretty sure last time i did this i think it's if i put five ounces of chicken in each one it's around 280 calories per taco so i'm gonna make probably two of them for this meal um so yeah so basically what i'm gonna do is i have my chicken breast gonna go cook this up um i'll show you how i how i slice it so basically let's wash it i do like i slice them in half like going like horizontally i'm gonna make them thinner so they cook faster when i put them on the pan um, and then I'll cook them like that. And then after I do that, I'll tear it up and shred it a little bit. Um, so all you're gonna need is chicken breast. I use this light sour cream, 50% less fat. Um, and then I use fat-free shredded cheese. You can use any type of shredded cheese, just get fat-free. Um, and then I'll use this Ortega um, taco sauce, which is 10 calories per teaspoon or tablespoon, which isn't bad. And then also for the seasoning, I'll use this taco seasoning uh, mix, which is pretty gas. So uh, that's in the car balance wrap. So that's all you need. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook it right now. That was low-key a lot. That was low-key a whole lot. All right, so there we got chicken, some more chicken. Cook it right now. So I'll give this probably, it'll take me like 10 minutes or so to cook it all the way through. And then I'll show you guys how I make the uh, taco part. 
All right, so I finished cooking all the chicken. Basically, I just kind of shred it up, like cut it up and just put it all into one bowl. So now that I can weigh it and put it into the wrap. So I'm gonna go make the wrap. So now I'm gonna center out on my scale, put it into grams. So now I have the fat-free cheese, gonna uh, recenter it. And this I just put about, you know, I don't know, 20 grams, just like a handful. This is 17. And now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So I get it to melt just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna put it back on here because I gotta weigh everything because I'm cutting. Now I have the light sour cream. I put around like 20, 20 grams. Yeah, there's 20 on the dot, 21. And then I'm gonna put this Ortega tox, taco sauce on the top as well. I don't really measure this because it's not that many calories, but I just put, put a little bit on there. Um, and yeah, right here. So, and then I'll literally just eat it like this, right? I'll just eat it like that. All right, so that right there, just that one, it's 224 calories. So this one thing right here, 224 calories. So I'd probably eat two or three of these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's cool, because there's fiber in the wrap, so it'll fill you up more. So I'm starving, and I really wanna eat and just enjoy it and watch movies. So I'm gonna go eat all of this. I'll probably have two or three of them, but yeah. I'll tell you how much I eat after I eat them. I don't know how I'll have them two or three. But 200 and whatever calories, that's crazy, just for this. Mmm, smacking. All right, so it is 10.30 now. I'm making the protein ice cream. Technically, I still have one actual regular meal, which I was gonna do ground turkey burgers, uh, which I'll probably still have, like one of them. Um, but I, I figured I'd make the protein ice cream now. I'm kind of craving it. But I did I did to go over this this like recipe or whatever in a previous or recent video. This time I'm making a whole different one, which has like a little bit different ingredients in it. The last one was more of like a fruitier, like the strawberry cheesecake one. This one's gonna be more of like a chocolate chocolate peanut butter type vibe so um we're gonna add some different ingredients like cocoa powder pb2 and, and stuff like that so hopefully this one turns out good so we're gonna go ahead and try and make it the same way kind of as the last one So we finished it up um definitely could have put less or less milk or maybe more ice into it uh because i wasn't used i usually put frozen fruit in but i wanted to do just chocolate passes the upside down test which is good um so we're gonna go ahead and try it out first taste test it's like a chocolate pudding a chocolate mousse so this whole thing is something around like 400 calories Obviously, there's no way you can eat all of it. I'll eat probably a fourth of it and I'll be full, which is dope. Great for killing your sweet tooth. So, there we have it. Obviously, put a little bit of fat-free ready, ready Whip on it, which I need to re-up on. And then I got this Hershey's Light Syrup, which is 20 calories for a tablespoon. So, we'll put some of that on the top. Finished product. All right, so we're pretty much it's at midnight uh, eating the last meal. So because I don't know how much like fat was in the um, Outback I had earlier because, you know, they can cook the steaks and butter and everything. I'm going to cut off around 150, maybe 200 calories off my daily just in case because um, I did wake up a little bit heavier this morning. So um, I'm going to make my turkey burgers, which are fire, which is as simple. It's just 99% lean ground turkey this is a little bit more expensive but um it's super super lean it's almost like chicken breast um so basically i'm gonna go weigh out a patty i don't know maybe like a four ounce four ounce patty or so um or three i don't know and then cook that and then i'm gonna put it on the 647 bread which is a lifesaver this stuff is fire 40 calories per slice 
So two slices is 80 calories with um with 14 grams of fiber, so it'll fill you up like crazy. That'll be my last meal. All right, so this is just like a three ounce patty. I was gonna do both, but again, because I had that Outback, I'm just gonna play it safe and do this. So this is the last meal of the day. I pop up the macros right here. I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, nighttime supplements. I tend to take melatonin. I already took around two grams of melatonin. Oh my, yo, you're kidding me. This thing just fell. It had like the perfect angle to break the plate. That's so chalked. Oh, what is good, guys? So it is the next day. I uh, just woke up and I uh, drank my fat burner. So, so that should hit me in a little bit with caffeine. Um, so I should wake up. And I got to go do 30 minutes of cardio this morning. So that's like my routine every single morning. I wake up, take the fat burner, um, and then it's 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. 10 degree incline, 3.2 miles per hour is what I'll probably do. Um, and yeah, and then I got, got to get this video out to you guys ASAP and I got a busy day today So I feel like I'm constantly just doing stuff. I can't wait this weekend. We are going to Miami Sunday I go to Miami So I'm gonna give one day to myself to just focus on myself Just have like a little vacation like just chill and relax and then all the other days Obviously I'm gonna be making content. You know what I mean? I feel like it's just go 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 24 7 Oh, which is fine though, which is fine though grind now so I can you know relax later in life um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The total calorie count that we had for yesterday, I just plugged it everything in. Uh, the only thing I didn't really account for is that it, at Outback they probably cooked a lot of the stuff in butter. You know what I mean? So that's gonna add fat. So I, I'm honestly just gonna add a fat macro to my my, my fitness pal. You can like just look up fat macro, and I'm just gonna put a random like 10 or 12 calorie or 12 grams of fat just in case. Uh, just, just to, you know, add some substance there for that. So uh, it says yesterday we had around 20, uh, 2,364 calories. My goal is to shoot around like 2490, I think is what I'm at. So we might underate a little bit, but also the uh, eating the ice cream wasn't completely accurate because that whole thing is somewhere around 350 calories. Uh, so I kind of just did that and then I divided it by like around two. Um, and then I plugged that in my, my fitness pal, uh, the app, which gave me 18, like around 18 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, four grams of fat of how much the ice cream I ate. Cause I ate about half of that whole blender. Um, so I didn't have the full thing. So yeah, so that gives us a total of that. When it comes to the macro portion, um, one of my, I don't know if it's still focus or not. Basically it says 247 grams of protein, 223 grams of carbs, and then 66 grams of fat. So I'm pretty happy with those macros. Um, that's like solid. When I get my protein intake up, they're pretty high. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and sub. Again, we upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays here on this channel. So yeah, I'm definitely going to upload more on the gaming channel. I'm trying to do that. And then we have the, the car channel. I'm trying to do a bunch of different stuff at one time. That's a lot. Um, but yeah, so Monday, uh, I think we might, may or may not have a Miami video. I think my, Wednesday will probably be the first video in Miami. I'm excited. It's my first time going to Florida. Um, it, it, and I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for that. We're going to go on a yacht. So we got a lot of cool stuff planned. So, you know, that's going to be fun. But yeah, God bless each and every one of you guys. Hope you guys are doing good. Code Alex Raw Gear, huge subs. Check out merch programs on my website. New colors on all my hoodies restocking actually this weekend. So Saturday, Saturday, 3 p.m. EST. All the new colors of the hoodies, like the Elysium and the Chasing Aesthetics hoodies, we're doing new limited colors. And they're like very spring, bright. So definitely go grab them while you can. If you go ahead, if you've already bought anything from our website, if you go leave, and re leave a review with a picture, you'll get like a 10% off uh, coupon, you know, for leaving the reviews because it helps me out when more people see that people are actually buying and leaving like good reviews. Um, you'll get a little discount. You can use the hoodie All right, love you guys. Till next time.